Well, scientists are using high-tech trackers on lake trout in Lake Superior. Tonight, TV6's Rebecca Himmelstein has an up-close look at what they're hoping to learn. This is a great study because it'll be the first time that we're using this advanced satellite technology to study the daily lives of both lake trout. Lake Superior is making the history books by becoming the first and only great lake to feature satellite technology on its fish. This is a project in which we're uh, tagging using satellite uh, pop-up tags uh, lake trout and we're actually tagging two different morphotypes or different uh, types of uh, lake trout, uh, one called lean and one called cisquet. Using these tags, scientists will be able to track the position, depth, and temperature of where the fish are for the next year. But what will they be able to do with this information? There is some concern that um, there are so many ciscoets in Lake Superior because of the deep water lake that uh, they could impact or compete with lean lake trout. Ciscoets are the most abundant form of lake trout in Superior, but lean lake trout is considered the preferred species by fishermen. What we're expecting uh, is to see that the lean uh, trout that we've uh, tagged will stay shallow when they're released and the ciscoets will go deep, just like the, the wild ciscoets. And if they're right, well, scientists will have discovered something much deeper than just the daily habits of lake trout. That would uh, mean that the, the basis for selection of depth uh, has a genetic basis to it. The DNR hopes to have a 100% recovery rate, but says that for anyone who finds and returns these pop-up tags, there is a $100 reward. In Marquette, Rebecca Himmelstein, TV6 News.